Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to Eric Anders up against Mark andre Barrio this weekend. UFC 289 taking place in Canada. You're off into enemy territory in a way. He's the hometown guy. Do you like it that way? Uh, it doesn't matter to me. You know, I don't think the Canadian fans are like so, so crazy that they're going to have an effect in the fight. You know, I fought in Brazil, uh, I fought against Machida in his hometown uh Thiago Santos and Sao Paulo those are hostile environments those are hostile that's hostile territory the the Canadian fans you know they're so cool and mild that yeah I don't know you know I, I would imagine I'd have some some cheers in there as well you're coming off of a, a nice finish how important was that to you and, and what's it like when the pressure's on when you're on a couple of losses you kind of you have to pull it out of the bag right and you did it yeah um you know I'm the kind of person I thrive under pressure the more the better you know so um, yeah, of course it feels good to get a finish. You know, that's what I'm known for. That's the reason why I got signed to the UFC in the first place is because, you know, I was knocking people out. So it just uh, felt good to get back to doing what I do. And I look forward to doing that again on Saturday. What kind of a challenge is, uh, is Mark, Mark Andre for you? Um, he's super, super durable and has crazy endurance. So, you know, uh, I think a lot of guys kind of, uh, I don't know if like get tired of of you know he just keeps coming you know he's kind of like the Terminator so you know I got to uh, you know be smart in my approach you know um, fighting his style fighting his game and him baiting me into his game you know could uh, be detrimental to to the outcome of the fight for me so you know I said I go out there do what I do and do it how I do it they call him Power Bar um, is he getting knocked out here like where do you see it finishing. Yeah, of course, you know, uh, that's always my aim, my goal. So, you know, we'll uh, we'll see. But I'm prepared to go 15. Um, but, you know, I don't get paid by the hour, so I'm trying to get in, out, and then, you know, hit the club afterwards. Um, uh, I was going to ask you, uh, there's another numbered event, another main card for you. Does that is that the UFC showing, you know, is that the, the esteem that they put you in, the fact they put you in these positions? Yeah, you know, I think that uh, the fans really like my style of fighting and his too. You know, it's a, uh, you know, it takes two to tango, so to speak. You know, so yeah, they have finishers on the on the main card. So yeah, you know, I think that uh, it's awesome that they're gonna let us set the table for the rest of the night. And uh, yeah, uh, we won't disappoint. Do the rankings concern you? Are we gonna see your name in that top fifteen soon? Uh, it don't matter to me, man. You know, I'm just here to fight, entertain fans, and keep it moving. What's your biggest reason for doing this sport? What do you like about it? I love it. I'm a competitor. Um, I love individual sports. And, and, you know, this is the fastest growing sport in the world, you know. And what better way to 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 do an individual sport and, and compete in front of, you know, thousands of pe people live and then millions more watching, so... Yeah, you know, I think uh, this is what I was supposed to be doing this whole time. You uh, opened yourself up to a new uh, a new audience as well. You know, you fought Johnny Lawrence. What was that like on Cobra Kai? Um, man, I have I have a newfound respect for actors. I always thought that they were kind of just like prima donnas and, you know, complained about everything, like if their copy wasn't hot enough. But man, I was in maybe two minutes max uh, in one episode, and that took two 12-hour days to film. You know, I must have fought that fight scene a hundred times. And then when they finally got it right, when we finally got it right, you know, they move all the cameras, switch it around and shoot it from the other angle. And then I fought the stunt double another hundred times, you know? So um, it was exhausting. By the end of the day, I was, you know, you know, it's yeah, you know, I was out there fighting. And uh, the cool thing is, you know, Johnny Lawrence is actually, I was actually fighting him and not a stunt double, you know, just to kind of get the other angle. After we finished our thing, they, they did switch cameras and the stunt man came in. But uh, the actual fight scene that they have on TV is him and I. Cool. No respect. Uh, does that open doors for you now, like for some action hero stuff? Man, I'd love to, you know. Um, I also got like another little gig in a show called Will Trent. Uh, that was cool to do, too. So, yeah, I like to keep uh adding and doing more and you know getting bigger and bigger roles and we'll see what happens in the future what would the ultimate dream role for you be mm, i don't know uh i think the rock is probably like the biggest star right now so maybe something with him or 
yeah, I don't know, just some kind of action move where I get to like, you know, jump out of buildings and, you know, drive cars and, you know, whatever. And I, I really don't care, but whatever I got to do to get my feet wet and, and grow in that industry as well, that'd be dope. What was the coolest movies for you growing up? Were you into like combat sports movies at all? Did you watch like uh, Kickboxer and Bloodsport and stuff? Yeah, of course. But I'm a huge Arnold Schwarzenegger fan. There's not too many people that I like fanboy over. And, you know, I went to the Arnold Classic in Barcelona um, just a few days after I fought Thiago Santos. And, you know, he walked by and I had one of those moments. And, uh, yeah, so he's probably my favorite. And I... I even beyond acting for him, for me, you know, he is the American dream. You know, he's an immigrant, came here, made a bunch of money, married a Kennedy, became the governor. You know, he's that's awesome. His uh, the things that he's done. So yeah, you know, I won't. You know, yeah, it's just something to be admired about somebody who comes over here with nothing in their you know pockets and you know does what he did. Did you read Total Recall? His book, it's really good. The book? No, I yeah. watched the movie. Though. Oh, really? Oh, awesome. Yeah, no, the book is so good, dude. His life story is awesome. Um, oh, oh yeah. no, okay. All right, All right, check it out, then. Check it out. You'd love it. Um, So I want to ask you, uh, Rob versus Drickus. That one's a fun one, right? Uh, Do you respect Drickus for, for not kind of hanging on and holding on to the Izzy storyline, the fact that he's taking this Rob fight, which is a pretty dangerous fight for him, right? I think he has to. I think Rob is the the guy that you have to beat to get to the title. You know what I mean? So I think Rob's number one, right? He's the number one contender. So two is Vittori number one. Oh, it's Pereira still. Uh, but he's, he's, man, he's, he's a 205, man. He's not, they're not going to hold up, hold the division up for that. So, you know, for all intents and purposes, you know, Rob's number one. So he's the guy you got to go through to get to the belt. So, you know, um, I think Rob wins that fight. I think he's just a little too crafty and too uh, skilled. Really, he's really fast. I think people sleep on uh, Robert Whitaker's speed, you know, his blitzes. And, you know, he's showing that he can wrestle uh, and do all that other good stuff, too. Like, he's a total fighter, still the total package. So, I think that's – and got good cardio, too. So, I think that Rob gets that one. Who's the fight that really most intrigued you inside that top 10? I mean, we've got uh, Paulo Costa fighting Ikram. I mean, I feel like a lot of people are matched up right now, but there's so many fun fights up there. And, and a lot of those guys, you could, you know, you could beat them. Um, I don't know. Um, I was saying, telling the people earlier, like, I really don't care too much about rankings uh, or the belt anymore. You know, I just want to put on entertaining fights and, uh, yeah, knock some fools out. So, like, whoever, you know, it's whatever. You know, the UFC knows I never say no. So, it's whoever they want to put in front of me. Okay, well, we're going to wrap up a little quick fire if it's okay with you. So, who's the hardest hitter pound for pound in the UFC right now? Um, well, I've only been dropped uh, four times. So, and it was the Cleo Roundtree in one round, in the second round of our fight. You know, he, he dropped me four, four times, and I haven't even you know, really been phased or dazed uh, in the other 15 fights, other 14 fights. So, yeah, I'm going to have to go, from my personal experience, Roundtree for sure. Muay Thai out in Thailand, man. Uh, who's the best wrestler? Uh, probably Chimaev. Like, I, I don't know what his, like, takedown percentage is, but it's got to be in the 90s, you know? So, or in the, like, the high 80s, I would say, so... Just off the top of my head, you know, it's, I don't really know, but just off the top of my head, it's probably Chimaev. Who's the funniest? Or Islam, or Islam. Yeah, sure. Who's the funniest uh, in the UFC? Uh, I think Adesanya, you know, he kind of tickles me a little bit with some of the, the witty stuff that he says. Uh, just off the top of my head again. Who's the most Paulo annoying? Costa, if you don't follow Paulo Costa on Twitter, you're making a mistake. Yeah, he's his Twitter game's on top. Um, who is the most annoying in the UFC? Oh, shit, that's a good question. Uh, there's a lot of them, you know what I mean? Guys whining and crying about, you know, title shots and, you know, things like that and whatever. Um, I don't know, that's a tough one. I never even really thought about it. Best looking fighter in the UFC. Ooh, that's your boy. Hands down. Who's the best dress? Ooh, best dress, best dress, best dress. Uh, McGregor. 
Who's got the coolest tattoos? I don't know. I don't be like checking these people out like for their ink and stuff. I could, you know, there's a lot of people with some shitty tattoos. That's for sure. Myself included. <laughs> who would, uh, <laughs> who'd you most like to have dinner with? Um, another good question. That's it. Are we cutting weight or we like that? We're not cutting weight. Just we can just really get this. Enjoy. Good. Good evening. Ah, uh, shit. I don't know. Who's a foodie? Patty Pimbler. He's a foodie. He likes to eat and have a good time. So, you know, we can both put on weight after a fight pretty good. So he'd probably be a good person to go have a burger with him and a beer. Yeah. Who would be the most fun on a night out? Dude, I don't know. Yeah, probably McGregor, dude. He seems to enjoy himself. I see he's out there in Monaco and doing things like that. So. You know, if it's on him, then, you know, I'm kicking it with him. Who's the most interesting female fighter? Uh, most interesting female fighter. Good question. Uh, I'll have to come back to that one. Who'd make the best movie star in the UFC? Me. You're on your way, man. And then uh, <laughs> who would you want by your side in a street fight? Uh, uh, does they have to be a UFC fighter? Uh, yeah. Sh sh John Jones. Who's got the best fight IQ? Adesanya is pretty smart. John Jones is pretty smart. Serial gain, uh, I think, uh, utilizes his uh, skill set and IQ pretty well as well. There's a lot of pretty smart fighters. Whitaker is a really intelligent fighter as well. Who has the best hands? Uh, just in terms of boxing, um, Max Holloway. And finally, who'd be your dream fight in any weight class, past or present? Um, I think Chuck and I would, would uh, have a good one, have a good go. That would be a bad uh, He's my favorite. You know, especially at 205, we can both get to swing in those power bellies and let them ride and, you know, have, have a, you know, have a night. Awesome. All right. Any, any thoughts on most interesting female fighter, either like it, how they carry themselves, how they fight, who's interesting to you? Uh, just off the top of my head, uh, Amanda Nunes, you know, um, just, you know, kind of where she comes from, where she's at. She lost her belt. He, she came back. Um, won it again the next time. Um, so, yeah, I think she's pretty cool and interesting. And, you know, she's also doing the mom thing as well. So, yeah, yeah. she's pretty interesting, I think. Oh, man, Eric, respect. Good to see you. Good luck. Thank you.